Hey guys, this is Korean PC Gamer. Uh, it's been a long time, but I got my PC back, yay. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a cooler, a new, a new CPA cool, CPU cooler, or the Cool Master V6 GT onto an, uh, any type of motherboard right here. I have an Asus gaming model with an AMD Phenom 2 X4. AM3 socket. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I don't have a tripod, so it's gonna be a little weird, so I'm sorry. Um, there's an instructions manual, but, so I'm just, but I'm just gonna show you off. Show you guys. Um, to start off, you have to take the fans off your cooler. So take them off. You see these, like, little fins right there? You have to peel them back. It will not break, but if you do it wrong it will probably break as you do that there we go look at all the marvelous heat sink I'm having a little trouble with this but There is one fan. The heat sink is actually really delicate. Um seems as if it's it would break it's like skinny steel oh my gosh this process is a little frustrating but there you go you can take these two fans off take this twist tie off and remember which one's left and remember which one's right so I'll just put this one over here left right and also here is the C Hink or CPU cooler without it. And you know, peel this off. Ooh. Whatever. Now if you want to place it on, first we have to put the brackets in. So we have to remove these screws from the bottom right here. It's a pretty simple process. Or you don't have to remove it from the back. You can just remove it from the top right here like this. Depends on the motherboard um motherboard yeah, it depends on the motherboard. Sorry you can't see it. If I had a tripod, that would be so much better. There we go. Comes right off. You get your AM3 socket and place it on and screw it on with the screws they give you. And... Nope. Uh, you screw it on with the screws you have Ah. Oh, what am I doing? Um, you screw it on just like you screw one on here. The the first the first retention plate. This is the second one. This is the this is the first retention plate. You just screw it on with the same screws they have given you. Wait a second. Never mind. I'm getting mixed up here. Ugh. This is the black back plate. So you screw this onto the back. You 
you can place this one on top right here like like so voila and then on the back you want to put this facing this way upwards like that and then you want to screw on these the screws they give you which look like these screws so I'm going to do it right now and I'll get back to you right when it's finished that was an epic process but as you can see I'm done so the next part is the thermal paste and how to place it there are two techniques one is just like a small little line across it um, a small little one and the next one is like um, a kernel the size of a small little kernel I'll show you guys it take the thermal paste they give you or use your own thermal paste put in the center use something about that much maybe a little smaller and you're good to go so when you place on the heater it should spread it around making it a big blob so after excuse me after you you do not have to use a retention too that's just the second process or whatever after you do that and then you place this place the CPU on top of that you will have to use this to put it like like so oh, great. like so and screw it on so let's place the cooler on top of it uh, I'm gonna have to put it down like I said I don't have a tripod Um, I just added a little more thermal paste so now it's stuck on tight to the CPU and now the heater or the this plate will go on straighten it up or whatever you need to do alright I'm gonna do this um, <clears throat> After you place it on, you have two options to screw it in. You can use the Allen key they give you. Wait. You can. You can use this Allen key to give you, or you can use a screwdriver to place this in and just screw that in. And I'm gonna use a. Um, I'm gonna use a screwdriver. Or not. I'm gonna use the Allen key. Um, I've I've heard of, like a lot of your reviews about reviews or problems about this. Um, it's not gonna screw in like all the way. I mean, it's not gonna screw tightly, but it should screw enough for it to be good. If you know what I mean. This is, I will get back to you when I'm done. Aha, the screws are finished. And now it is, ooh, a little crooked. Whatever. 
It looks great. Now I'll put the fans back on. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. Thanks. I finished. Now to the grueling process of putting it back in the machine. All right, thanks for watching. This is Korean PC Gamer installing the Cooler Master V6 GT. Uh, well, at the end of this video, I'll show you like a a light test. All right, just hang on. There it is inside. Meh. Um, the lights don't change, but the fans don't change. But there's like a button. If you click it, it's uh, red, purple, red, blue, purple. It's really cool. There it is. Thanks for watching this installation, and have a good day.